Well, Saturday marks 25 years since the Storm King Mountain tragedy. It killed 14 firefighters. And as the years have passed, the memory of what happened, it never faded. Neither did the lessons that are changing the ways firefighters do their job to this day. Here's Noel Brennan. Wildland firefighter Brian De Los Santos has done this job long enough to see gear gone by. This is that new generation fire shelter. It's, it's almost twice as tall and about 30 or 40 percent heavier. 25 years in, Brian still relies on lessons learned. In uh, 1994. His first summer in Colorado. Early this morning, helicopters began searching the hillsides for the missing firefighters. The firefighters were trapped basically uphill from a fire that they didn't know was, was burning. This day broke with rescuers holding out hope that some members of the team might have made it through the night, but it was soon clear that wasn't the case. They'd all died in an instant, one of the worst firefighting disasters in recent history. The Storm King Mountain Fire killed 14 wildland firefighters. It rocked the wildland world uh, across the country for the most part. It changed the job. Uh, a crew nowadays would establish before they really got embedded deep into the firefight like, like they were that day, they would establish and flag alternate e exits basically off the hill. Crews now identify escape routes and safety zones. A big enough area that won't burn where you can seek refuge. Fires aren't fought without a lookout. So that's one person that doesn't get down in the, you know, in the trenches and, and work. They go up high somewhere and they establish a good lookout position. Firefighters keep a book Fire of standards. It's all color coded on these pages. Close to heart. The pain, the sorrow, we feel as well. Lessons we after loss, now seared into memory and this firefighter's career. The whole wildland community learned a lot from that fire as a result.